Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being a part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. I am having a fantastic day. I am back home. I got my coffee this morning, and it's finally hitting me where I'm awake. My morning video, which is afternoon, is uploaded right now. And um, I'm just excited to be back and ready to get to work. We got lots of work to do uh this season it's 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 just a lot to do but football is back and i was going through and i'm trying to catch up with everything and all that i got a little upset um and i'll, I'll probably do something maybe a little bit later today i had originally got this bigger tv 75 inch tv and got a lift so that way i could put it up so that way i could do like film breakdown and stuff on there and i never really got into doing it on that i'd been at the red brick house most of last year and things but i need to get this thing out i want to teach people the the thing is a lot of times people have a concept of what football is and things and not understand your job and not understand the ins and outs of football okay when you're on defense, you know, people don't understand that there's all kinds of disguises, schemes, and things, and assignments. See, here's the thing about football that's crazy is, and, and actually, I'll, you know what, I'll save it. But I want you to understand that it's more than just lining up and just going for the ball carrier. It just is. You have an assignment because you have 11 guys that have to be on the same page. Everybody's got a portion of the field or a player that they have to be responsible for. If you showboat, showboat, and don't do your assignments, it hurts the team. You may make a big play by showboating and not doing your assignment this time. But other times, it leaves somebody else exposed. That's, and I'll go into that more in deeper details. I talked about it a little bit this morning because I was listening to Brian Brodus and, and uh, 105 The Fan, and they were going through and they were saying, well, Mozzie uh, took plays off and stuff. And I don't know which play that they're talking about exactly, but there's a play that's being circulated on YouTube where um, it looks like to me that Mozzie's assignment is the one gap. Now, there's a hole in the other one gap. And it looks like it's the linebacker's hole. And the linebacker looks like he's going to run and go catch a bus or something. The linebacker disappears, and everybody turns around and says, Oh, Mozzie folded up like a cheap suit. No, he held his ground holding the other one gap, or the A gap. And the linebacker didn't fill. If the linebacker, who was looking in the hole... Had filled in the hole, it would have been tackled for no gain. But, you know, that's the perception versus reality. Be that as it may. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I get accused a lot of being the Dak defender. All you talk about is Dak Prescott. You got Dak Prescott's, you know what, cojones and stuff. Are you being paid, you know, by Dak Prescott? Or No, I'm not. What I recognize is for everybody that's been saying, oh, Trey Lance, now we got a real quarterback, Ray Ray. Ray Ray, comedian Ray Ray, because that shit was a joke that you're saying about Trey Lance, Trigger Trey, being ready to take over. He's not anywhere close. I'm still trying to understand what it was about the San Francisco 49ers that they saw and said, let's give up three number ones for this guy. And here we are in year number four, and we're saying, well, he's learning. You know, he's getting there. Year number four, guys. Year number four. He's been in the league almost half as long as Dak Prescott. And we're saying, well, he hadn't get he didn't get he didn't get a chance. Well, he had injuries and so on. Okay. Well, guess what, guys? If you start him this season, we're not winning five games. We're not winning five games. Just not. At this point, no, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that because then I'm gonna really get killed. But at this point, I don't know that he's that much better than Ben DiNucci. Sorry. Dak Prescott, if the Cowboys are dumb enough to let Dak Prescott go, 
after what you saw on Sunday and what we've seen in training camp, I saw it with my own eyes. I went there trying to take off my cowboy colored glasses and say, let me look at Trey Lance and see it. I have to say, Cooper Rush looked way better. Cooper Rush looked way more polished. Not that Cooper Rush was looking great. You can see Cooper Rush can make some of the throws, but is not the same guy as Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott was looking like an assassin. Dak Prescott was looking like an assassin. I don't want to say Trey Lance was more like Barney Five, but Trigger Trey has got his bullet in his pocket right now. Be that as it may, here's something that made me feel pretty, pretty, pretty cool. This just came across just a few minutes ago. Dak Prescott, this is his brother, posted, uh, well, Dak Attack just posted this, okay? Um, Dak Attack just posted this picture of Dak Prescott and his princess and his baby girl, all in Cowboys gear. Yeah. I, for one, here's what I think. Here's what I think. And I could be 100% wrong. I don't know. But I know that Jerry Jones, I think Jerry Jones has been doing a little bit of soul searching here at training camp because Jerry Jones' stick doesn't seem to be sticking as hard. You can't go and look at training camp and see, you know, we, we had 4,100 people with the Ram practice, which was the peak. They actually had to close the mother humper down. They ain't getting those numbers on a regular daily basis. They're not. Now, maybe on the weekend. No, there's no more. Oh, that's right. There aren't any more weekend practices. They're not getting the numbers that they usually do. Now, granted, they are getting paid because it used to be you would just. Hold on. Let me see. Hang on. Let me see if I have one. Actually, I do. I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I actually have some of these. I can't believe it. See, here's what's what's, what's crazy. As we talk about Dak Prescott should take a, a um, oh, oh, hey, wait, wait, hold on. There's another piece to this. Hold up. Let's see. Um, hold on. Ah, look at this. Mm. <laughs> So here's what I want you to understand. This is what Jerry Jones and the Cowboys used to do. It used to be if you got your True Blue membership, $20, they'd send you a card that said True Blue for however many years. You would get, boom, free advertising for the Cowboys. Because you can see I've got a couple of these. You would get, Cowboys water bottle. Inside of it, Cowboys United towel. This one is for a couple years ago because that was before um, uh, they came up with the training camp towels. And there was also a set of sunglasses that were in there. And you could stand on the sidelines and every single day you only had to pay once and now you have to pay 23 dollars a day and you get nothing so this is a souvenir i think i've got a couple of them up there from a couple of different training camps you get nothing but be that as it may dak prescott and i believe on friday where he wasn't in practice Okay, it was a walkthrough practice for the scrimmage, and Jerry Jones wasn't there. That they did a little conversation. I believe that they, I believe that they had some meetings to try and work on this contract, and to start getting the the stuff together on it. That's my personal opinion, because if we are actually talking about them trying to get this done before the season starts, we got two preseason games left. 
and you're not going to get it done without talking about it. So I'm betting Dak Prescott's people and Dak Prescott went over the offer that was sent over and threw it back at the Cowboys to say, here's what we want and so on, because it's all in negotiations. The thing is, is when you go in and you buy a car, okay, you don't go in and tell the guy, hey, I got $30,000 right now that I can spend on a car. Because by the time you leave, it's going to be 35000 for the car. And your best ability is the ability to be able to walk away. Because listen, I don't have to take this. I got other options. That's how you can negotiate a better deal. Now, we'll see what happens and so on. But hey, shout out to Dak Attack getting this picture out here and i believe the contract are in the working if you think that trigger trey is going to be the guy i'm sorry it's just not and i want to put point out here with the cowboys when you think about you know people say oh well just just go ahead just draft another guy and start over start the clock over that sounds great in theory that sounds really great in theory But when you think about teams that have done that, you know, here it is. Justin Fields is with the Pittsburgh Steelers, and people are saying there's no way in the world that he can be a starter. When you think about Russell Wilson, who now seems like he has fallen off a cliff. When you look and say that there were six quarterbacks that were drafted in the first round, I'd be surprised if uh, more than two of them become viable NFL starters. You can think about where Trey Lance, who San Francisco gave up three number ones, in a third round, and the Cowboys gave up a fourth round pick, and you see that dog ain't hunting. And the roadway is littered by more quarterbacks that aren't the guy. Now, I'm going to say the hardest position to find in football is quarterback. When you get one, that's when you go through and you get the other pieces to go around it. And we'll see if the Cowboys actually do that or not. All right, good people. I appreciate y'all. And uh, today I'll be with Green Game Time Brian, I think, at 3 o'clock. He wants me to join and uh, give him some. He's going to ask me some questions about training camp. And we'll see if I've got the answers. I appreciate y'all. Peace out.